Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I know from the location it doesn't look like it, but this is a Lakers update. Because of the rain, I haven't been able to go to my normal, cool little cemetery that I usually go to to shoot my Lakers updates. So, today I'm doing it from my house, indoors, out of the rain. Let's get started. First of all, I wanted to give you an update on LeBron James. He has been cleared to play on the practice team. However, there is a game tonight. Tonight's game will be over by the time you see this video because it is Thursday today. This video is going to be posted Friday morning. So LeBron has been cleared to play on the practice team. However, he has not been cleared to play in the game and he is not traveling with the Lakers for tonight's game or Saturday's game. So far, LeBron has already missed 11 games. He's gonna miss tonight and Saturday's game, which makes a minimum of 13 games missed. Hopefully by the time the Lakers return from being on the road, LeBron will be cleared, he'll have had plenty of time on the practice team, and he will be able to play in the next game. Tonight's game is in Oklahoma City. We're playing Oklahoma City Thunder and hopefully we'll be able to pull out a win. The next game, like I was saying, is Saturday night. It's at 5.30 p.m. It's an away game also, and it is the Houston Rockets that we will be playing. It would sure be great if we could pull out two wins while we are away and on the road, even though we're playing without LeBron. The Lakers have really, really struggled with LeBron being out, and of course Rondo is still out as well. They're anticipating that Rondo will still be out for a couple more weeks at a minimum. He have, has not even been cleared to play on the practice team yet. Unfortunately, the Lakers are just falling out of playoff position. I sure hope that there is a chance that we can pull out a couple wins, LeBron can come back, and maybe, maybe there will be a way that we can make it to the playoffs this year, but I am so concerned. One of the players, though, that I do want to talk about and highlight in this video is Michael Beasley. He is number 11. He has only been on the Lakers. He was just drafted this year, 2018, to play on the Lakers. He's 30 years old and he's been playing basketball for 10 years. He has been in the games more often lately with so many players out and he has actually been quite helpful and been able to show some of his skill. One thing you might not know about him is he's ambidextrous but he does tend to shoot with his left hand most of the time. But that does help him. There are plenty of times that he is under the basket, sneaks around one of the other players, and is able to toss a basket in unexpectedly. That has been really, really helpful. The last few games, the Lakers have done terrible from the three-point line. They will be in the third quarter and not have made any baskets from the three-point line. And they have made several attempts. We are constantly yelling at the TV, telling them that they need to drive to the basket and shoot from there. And at least they did start doing that. They were able to pull out a couple of wins since then, and it appears that they are learning that that's what's necessary as well. Sometimes they're really good at shooting three-point shots, but lately that has not been the case. For whatever reason, they are just out of sorts with some of the players out and LeBron still not being there. It's certainly clear that the Lakers absolutely do need LeBron and they need him back. As you know, the first time we played the Cavaliers this year when LeBron was playing, we slaughtered them. It was a really, really great game and it was fun to watch LeBron's homecoming. Recently though, we played the Cavaliers again and the Cavaliers are doing terrible this year. They are one of the lowest ranked teams this season and we lost. We were not able to pull out a win against one of the worst teams in the league. That was really, really devastating to all of the players and I know that it really got them down because they just could not get it together. Another player that I wanna talk about tonight is Lonzo Ball. He is number two on the Lakers, and he's been playing for the Lakers for about a year. It has been very, very clear that with LeBron and Rondo out, two of the primary leaders on this team, someone else needed to step up. While Lonzo has missed a lot of his three-point shots, 
it has been made clear that he has become a leader on this team. He has really been trying to bring the team together, make smart plays, make smart moves. A lot of good ball movement has been happening at Lonzo's instruction, and it has been nice to see him start to grow. He's only 21 years old. He's a really, really young player, but I can see that he's starting to blossom, and I'm really excited to see that growth. Since my last update, Kyle Kuzma had his highest scoring game so far. Kyle Kuzma is another young player. He has been on the Lakers since 2017, and that is the first NBA team he has been a part of. His first high scoring game was in October of 2018 when he scored a, a high for himself of 37 points. However, on January 9th against the Detroit Pistons, he was able to shoot a game high for himself of 41 points. That is his career high thus far. It was really exciting to watch and he was very, very excited to pull out a high score for himself in that game and you could see how proud he was of himself. With his assistance during that game, the Lakers were able to pull out a win of 113 to 100. The other thing that's been really exciting and really funny lately is when the Lakers are at home, if they are able to score over 100 points and win, keeping their opponent under 100 points, the audience, when they leave, they're able to get a coupon to get free tacos from Jack in the Box. There have been two games recently where the audience was just cheering that they wanted their tacos because they thought they were going to be able to do it and uh, the other team scored 100 points exactly. One of them even scored it right at the buzzer. So of course, they were the, all of the fans that were there, they were so disappointed not to get their tacos, but at least both of those games, the Lakers won, so they did get to leave with that, knowing that at least they had a great win. I'm hopeful that Rondo will be cleared to start playing on the practice team soon so that he can be back in the games. I'm hoping as well that by the time I have another update for you, LeBron will be back and playing with the team. Hopefully their game tonight, they'll pull out a win. I'm wearing my lucky Lakers shirt for them, hopefully, so that that will help them. And again, Saturday we'll be watching and hoping for a win as well. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed these updates. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!